now, last summer's Olympics and Paralympics has inspired more of us to take part in sport. Participation figures are up by about 15%, but at the same time there are worries about the future and possible cuts in money for sports at school. So where does that leave the Olympic legacy? Helen Barnes has taken two new athletes to meet one of our golden boys. Meet Thomas and Matthew. They're brothers from Leicester, and after watching the Olympics, they decided to take up athletics. Hey, Helen. Today, I've arranged a special treat for them to meet my friend, Olympic gold medal sprinter, Jason Gardner. Thomas, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Their club, Leicester Coritanians, has doubled its numbers since last summer. How do we keep kids now excited about sport? Well, they are excited. They watch the nation's best performers, you know, delivering their maximum and inspire the nation. We've got to give these young people the opportunity to go on and go into clubs and try different sports out. But the most important thing is for young people is to have fun. If you create a fun environment, they will come back for more and more. And then knees up high. Jason spends okay. much of his time motivating okay. kids, uh, but he's not convinced That's enough's not been saying. done since the London well, Games. I believe that the government are going to be announcing the legacy plans. I hope we don't continue the legacy of previous host Olympic Games cities of not providing any legacy. But with over half of primary schools now providing less than two hours PE a week, is it simply down to the clubs now? Most often it's actually school sport is the first introduction to sport. Currently, um, the primary teachers are expected to deliver this and what we often find is that primary teachers haven't had the necessary training and expertise to deliver a good job. That could change. Jason and the boys will be waiting to see the government's new school sports plans when they're revealed next month. Let's go. Oh, Good potential? Absolutely, they're both enthusiastic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's been brilliant um, training with a gold medalist that's been in the Olympics. And he's a real nice person, like, he offers some good tips to improve your technique and things. You make it easy just to come straight through to make a contact. Helen Barnes, BBC East Midlands Today. Well, tomorrow we're with Paralympic star Richard Whitehead and Richard has got some big news today. He's become a dad. Congratulations to him and Val and their £6.11 ounce baby girl, Zara Faith. What fantastic sport. <laughs> news to end the sport Oh, on. that's lovely.